Hello everyone, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead. It's been a while since we've uh, made a video for you, but here we are uh, doing our third video in the series on cuniculture. And uh, today we're going to go over the age-old question, hutch or habitat? Now, if you watch our first video in this series on cuniculture, I explained to you a little bit about the history of uh, raising rabbits specifically for meat. Now, uh, originally, uh, what was done at the monasteries or the small towns uh, or villages in France and uh, southern Europe was uh, that they would create warrens for the rabbits to live in. So basically, they were creating a habitat for the rabbits. But as we've gotten and progressed into uh, the age nowadays, most of the people you say raising rabbits are going to be raising them in hutches. Now there's benefits and drawbacks to each. We're going to go over those in today's video. Let's talk first about creating a habitat for your rabbit. These are also referred to as colony raising, uh, raising in a warren, or uh, you know any number of other uh, herd raising. There's all kinds of different ways that this is described, but very commonly in in uh, rabbit raising circles, it's referred to as colonies. So there are some benefits to raising rabbits in warren or colony style. Uh, one of those is that uh, it allows the rabbit to have uh, a little bit more territory to run around in. Another one is that uh, it makes it a little easier uh, for breeding because uh, the males and the females are kept together. So you know you're just uh, there's always a constant supply of uh, new babies being born. So. You know, that term breeding like rabbits really comes into play in a colony or warren style of raising your meat rabbits. Uh, one of the other benefits uh, is that it just allows the rabbits to interact a little bit. Rabbits are social animals uh, by nature. And so uh, having them in a colony or a warren scenario just kind of allows them to have that, uh, that relationship with one another that they wouldn't have in a cage scenario. Now what are some drawbacks? to the colony or warren style raising. Well, one of the drawbacks is uh, that we're really not raising domestic rabbits in a natural environment when you put them into a colony. And the reason why is because a colony or, or a warren uh, is not the way rabbits have been raised domestically for the last 250 years. They've been raised in hutches. You know, when it came to warren raising then, it was just a matter of corralling them. And so to take a, a, an animal that is uh, used to being raised in a cage and putting them into a warren style environment um, has some drawbacks. And there's a, a few of them. Number one is that uh, they don't necessarily carry all of the same uh, personalities. And so you might have some fighting amongst your animals. So you, you could be worrying uh, about potential more, uh, having potentially more injuries uh, within your rabbit herd. Uh, another thing that uh, is kind of a drawback is that if they're on the ground, they could be more susceptible to uh, disease and or uh, parasites. Um, so, you know, having rabbits on the ground, especially in extremely wet areas, or like here in Michigan, we've had such a wet spring that uh, colony raising could be very dangerous and or deadly for rabbits because they would constantly be uh, in, a, in a moist, damp environment. Uh, which would just allow those parasites to be transferred from the soil to the rabbit uh, or from uh, wild animals to the rabbit very easily. So, you know, uh, that's a concern when it comes to warren raising. Uh, another concern when it comes to warren raising is, you know, while it's good that they're able to breed like rabbits, uh, the other drawback is they breed like rabbits. So um, you could potentially have issues where uh, you're not able to handle the rabbits uh, as they're, they're being born. So uh, when it's time to harvest, it makes it much more difficult to control or to, to gather up the babies. Um, it's much more difficult to make sure that uh, individual rabbits are getting the nourishment that they, that they need. And treating disease, you know, uh, in, a, in a Warren colony scenario, if one comes down with a, a sickness, uh, it's going to be very contagious. You know, rabbits don't have the strongest immune systems. So it's going to just, you know, blaze through the entire colony. Three. 
Now, when it comes to raising in hutches, there are defi definitely um, also a few drawbacks. Uh, number one is uh, that they are separated. Now, you can't have them in, in large cages, but uh, you know when it comes to to you know raising in cages, you, you kind of want to keep your rabbits separated. Just a second, it's the wife. Hey. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was uh, I'm outside. I didn't hear my phone ring. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Uh, another small drawback about cages is, especially uh, with certain breeds of rabbits, is that they can develop sores on the bottom of their feet from wires. Um, you can also use a, a solid bottom cage, although I don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, and then, um, but there's a lot of more benefits for us as far as raising in cages. You know, unless you're in a really dry, arid environment, I really highly recommend cages because of those, the potential for parasites and disease to transfer uh, in the soil. Um, so it's much easier to control disease if you have rabbits uh, in your cages. Uh, it's also much easier to control predators uh, because you know we can keep them up off the ground, uh, protect them a little bit, and give them just a, a little bit more security when it comes to um, you know being protected from predators. Uh, another thing is that you can control your breeding uh, a lot easier. So it's much easier to control what buck is breeding with what doe. Uh, also much easier to inspect the babies once they're born and make sure that they are healthy and they're getting fed properly. Uh, it's easier to target that nutrition. So if you need to, you know, you have a, a, an animal that needs a little bit more protein in their diet or a little more fat in their diet, it's much easier to target that. All right, so when it comes to hutches, there's a couple different uh, styles or designs uh, that you can look into. Um, you've got a, a freestanding hutch like what uh, we use here, uh, hanging cages like what we use in the bunny barn, uh, there's also, you know, solid wood hutches, bi-level hutches, uh, but really, if you're going to be looking for uh, hutches specifically for cuniculture, you're going to want to look for a few things. Uh, number one is a, a, a hutch that's easy to clean. Uh, number two is that uh, as little bit of wood in contact with the rabbits as possible, because those suckers will chew right through it. All right, and the, and the third thing is you want to make sure that you have the, if you're going to be using wire cages, you want to make sure you're using the proper sized wire for the base and the sides. You want to make sure you're using a, a, a 14, maybe a 16 if that's all you can find, but at least a 14 gauge wire uh, and a, a half inch by one inch um, size, opening size on that wire for the floors. And then for the sides, you can do a 14 gauge wire, uh, one inch by one inch, um, or I mean, you might want to even run uh, some of that half by one. Uh, just a little, about to four or five inches up the sides of the hutch uh, in order to keep any babies from being able to squeeze out because we've seen that happen before. Uh, you know, and finally, if uh, you know, how are you going to manage the manure uh, and the waste that the rabbits produce? Uh, if you're curious about that, head on over to our Bunny Barn Tour video and you'll be able to see how we manage the waste here in our Bunny Barn. Uh, but on our outside hutches, we just have a, a small collecting uh, collection tray underneath. It gets cleaned off, you know, once, twice a week, and all that goes into the compost. Uh, so that's all something that you need to manage. And, and you know, be prepared uh, to have an answer for and be prepared to manage that. So when it comes to the question, hutch or habitat, it's really more about understanding what your needs are for your rabbits, what your desires are of the way that you want to raise rabbits, uh, and also, you know, understanding the environment in which you live. Uh, there's no one-size-fits-all solution for raising rabbits, but there are some good ideas. And, uh, you know, do some research, find out uh, how your rabbits are going to fare better uh, in the environment that you're in, the climate that you experience, and the breed of rabbit that you're looking to raise. Well, thank you so much for joining us today as we discussed a little bit about uh, how to house your rabbits. Uh, watch out for our next uh, video on cuniculture. Uh, we'll be discussing a little bit more intently about breeding. We'll be discussing uh, when and how uh, to breed your rabbits uh, and then talk about some different techniques if you have some rabbits that just maybe might not be into it. All right, until next time, thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless.